It's actually really hydrating. <laughs> hydrating. <laughs> um, it is called Gulu. <laughs> really like that so far. So far. So far. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a haul and PR show and tell video for you guys today and this is gonna be a long one because there is a lot to go over here. So maybe grab yourself a snack, maybe grab yourself some coffee, put on your PJs, get cozy, get comfortable because we could be here together for a while, but it's gonna be a fun time. So I'm gonna do the haul part first and then I'll switch into the PR and I'll let you know when I'm switching over to that. So if that's not your thing, you don't have to watch at that point, but quite a bit of this is PR stuff. So just FYI, but we're still gonna have a fun time talking about makeup and I'm still gonna always share my honest opinions. So let's get into it. So I've been grabbing some things from Sephora, Anastasia Beverly Hills, BH Cosmetics, and I think that's it. So first from Sephora, I got this It's Skin Cookie and Body Ice Cream. I've been thinking about this for a while. Um, these all smell really good. I think there's just three flavors or scents, but there might, I wouldn't eat this, so not a flavor. Three scents. <laughs> it does look like you could eat it though, but no, don't eat it. Um, I think there's just three. I think there's an original, a strawberry, and then a mint, but it looks like cookies and cream ice cream, and it smells delicious. So the original smells really good. The strawberry smells like strawberry. The mint smells like, I mean, it's not super minty, but it smells like a like mint chocolate chip cookie or mint chocolate chip ice cream or something. It smells really yummy. And it's actually really hydrating. <laughs> hydrating. <laughs> it's really, really nice. So I like the actual like formula of it, but I really like the scent. <sighs> I'm having struggles already. So some lipsticks to go over. First off, I got one of the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Creamy High Pigmented Lipsticks, and this is in C105, and it's what I'm wearing right now. I do have it with a lip liner just because it's a pretty like pale kind of nude, and I think it was described as like a gray beige or something like that, but it's really pretty. Um, it's definitely more of just a nude than I was expecting, but I still really do like it. As far as the formula, very creamy, very comfortable, does stick around on the lips for a good amount of time. Um, feels a little bit waxy when I first apply it, but I apply quite a bit, so maybe I'm just putting on too much, but I like the formula so far. Then I have one of these Stila All Day Matificent Lipsticks, and this is in Soiree. I already mentioned this in a Friday Favorites. Really cute looking packaging, but it feels a little bit cheap. But I do really like the formula of this. It's like creamy and comfortable and long wearing. Really like that. I'll show you swatches in a second. Then one of the um, Bite Beauty Multi Sticks. So this is supposed to be able to be used on your eyes, your cheeks, and your lips. I got it in almond. Really liking this so far. Just the little bit that I wore it. Really like that so far. So far. So far. <laughs> Then one of the Bare Minerals um, Gin Nudes. This is the matte liquid lip color. This was a point perk. This is in Swag. So here they are all swatched. So there is Soiree. This is Almond. And that is Swag. I have not used this yet to know really like what I think about that. But it smells really good. It smells like chocolate. So that's nice. But like these, especially this. Oh my gosh. This is such a cool brown and I really like the formula of that so far. Then I got one of these new Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duos, and I got it in Lottie, so it's kind of like a taupey, purpley kind of color. So here is the like liquid side. Here's the liquid side with the glitter on top, and there's just the glitter by itself. So I've used this um, once, and it is really, really pretty. I mean, those together, that's incredible. But it is messy. So the little like glitter side, the little like doe foot thingy, like applicator thingy that's in there is curved a little bit. So you have to be careful when you pull it out of the container because it'll kind of like puff glitter everywhere. You know what I mean? So that's kind of like the negative of it. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Well, yeah, you can kind of see. So see how it's kind of like curved? So 
I have to be really careful when I'm taking it out of the container. So what I do is I like delicately pull it out of the container and then I get a, um, like a small concealer brush and wet it with some Mac fix plus just to like, once I have it on my brush, I really like it, but getting it on the brush without getting it everywhere is kind of the challenge of this product. But I do really like it. I think it's so pretty and it makes like the most metallic glittery eye sort of look. It's gorgeous. And I did renew my VIB Rouge status. So they give you a little cute little gift thing here and it comes with a little blush this time. So it's a little NARS blush, which is really cute. And I think that this one is a limited edition one. Um, it is called Gulu. <laughs> Gulu. G-O-U-L-U-E. Gulu. Ghoul? I really don't know. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. It looks really patchy there, but it, I don't think it's going to be on the cheeks. I think it's one of those like weird swatch looking situations. And also I'm, I've got a little bit of glitter left over. It sort of reminds me of like um, NARS Orgasm a little bit. It's got like a little bit of a glow to it. It looks really pretty. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit. This is so pretty. This is like unicorn palette. This is the top row here and that's the bottom row. The bottom row is my favorite. Oh my gosh. It's just like glowy and unique and amazing. I think they're such cool colors. I love the packaging on it. It's just, I don't know, like very unicorn. It just looks like a unicorn. It's really just fun. I don't know how practical these are gonna be. I may end up using them more on like my eyes, inner corner of my eyes. I'll probably honestly use them a lot for that. I love sort of like glowy, duochrome iridescent sort of shadows in my inner corner of my eye. I think that they just look really interesting and beautiful. So I'll probably use them more that way. But I mean a couple of them, like especially like the pink one, I'll use that on my cheekbones and I'm gonna play around with this and see what all I wanna do with it. BH Cosmetics came out with some new floral blushes, which I guess they got rid of their like duo blushes that had the two sides with a more like highlighty color and then the blush color. I really liked those, but I guess now they have these. So let's see, what are the colors? Bahama Bronze and then Fiji Fun and then Caribbean Coral. So let me show you what it looks like. So it's like a double-sided thing. It's got a little thingy over the top. So it's got the little like darker side and then it has a lighter side. So you basically have like sort of like three blushes in one that you can swirl them together or just use this or just this. Um, so I was a little bit surprised that two of them have some glitter, but honestly, once I've kind of gotten into them a little bit more, I'm wondering if it's more so an overspray than anything because swatching them this time for you guys versus when I just first got them, it looks like it has less glitter now than at the beginning. So that's good. So this one is Bahama Beige. The middle one is Fiji Fun. So I swatched them like individually and then swirled them together for you guys. So Bahama Beige, Fiji Fun, and that one is Caribbean Coral. So really pretty. I've really been enjoying BH Cosmetics lately. Like I've always enjoyed them, but I'm really starting to use their stuff more lately and I just think they have some great products and I love their price point. I think that these were like, I think they were $5 each, which is awesome. Now we're gonna be switching over into some PR stuff. So first off, Laura Geller was so sweet to send me this set. This is the For the Love of Chocolate, a seven piece collection of Chocolate Beauty Delights. So I do have a whole video on this set. So if you wanna like see this more in depth and you know, like hear more about the products. Let me just show you really quickly what's inside. So it comes with all these different products. So foundation, blush, eyeshadows, lipstick, gloss, eyeshadow brush, and then a powder brush. So a really great set, but check out that video if you want more info. And then Ofer is always so sweet. I think they just have such nice products and the people there are just all so kind. So I just really like their brand a lot. So first off, their metallic liquid lipsticks. I've already talked about these. I posted pictures on Instagram wearing this. I've talked about this in a favorites video. I love these. I think they're beautiful, a comfortable formula, and they smell 
Amazing. So there is Versailles, Santorini, and Monaco. So there are those swatched. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. And I just love their liquid lipstick formula. It's my favorite. I think it's the most comfortable. It moves a little bit more than the other ones, like all the other ones that are out there basically. It moves a little bit more, but I like that about it because they don't like wear off unevenly and they're more comfortable. So I like them a lot. So then they have a couple of new highlighters. These are really fun. First off, this is Rodeo Drive. So this one is kind of the more golden of the two. I think this would be most beautiful on medium to deep skin tones. I can still totally wear this one. I've been wearing this one and really enjoying it. Kind of gives like a summery, beachy sort of a vibe. So I like it for that kind of a look. So this one's really pretty. But my favorite of the two is definitely Beverly Hills. This is incredible. When you use this, literally, just tap your brush in here. Now I've been kind of like swirling it so mine looks a little bit, it doesn't look as pretty as when I first got it. But just know it's really cute and very like, I don't know, looks like a fan all around. So really, really pretty in there, but all you have to do is just tap your brush in here because if you go like this, it is so intense. You will literally like, it'll be way overboard. Like I applied just the tiniest little bit today just to kind of get a little more like subtle sort of a glow. But this is a Wabam highlighter. Let me show it to you. No, that one's Rodeo Drive. This one is Beverly Hills. Oh, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it and it's like full intensity. I mean, this is literally like, whoa. That's one little section. That's one little section. These are intense. I mean, it is like, super duper pigmented. So it's gorgeous. I love it so, so much. But if you get it, just know you have to barely, barely tap your brush because the pigmentation is so good. And Makeup Geek, they are also just super duper sweet, great quality products. So they sent me quite a few of their blushes, a couple of their contour powders, and then some of their brushes. And then the Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette. I'm so excited about all this stuff. Let me swatch a lot of it for you. Okay, I'm gonna start by swatching the first row of that Z palette I just showed you. So this is Promise Ring, Cherish, Puppy Love, and this is Love Triangle. This is one of the contour powders. This is Warm Porcelain. And then this is Main Squeeze. Love Letter, that one is super buttery and pigmented. They're all really buttery and pigmented, but that one especially is like, whoa, super duper pigmentation. This one is Soulmate, that one's really pretty too. This is Bad Habit, this is the Warm Fair Contour Powder. And then over here, how can I show you? That is another blush, that is Valentine. I got that one in a compact. So super pretty. These are all really nicely pigmented. Um, the ones that are kind of more on the shimmery side, those need to be built up a little bit more. The mattes seem to be like super pigmented on first pass, whereas the other ones, they're still pigmented, but they need to be built up a little bit. So I'm impressed with the formula. I like them all. I think they're beautiful. Now let me show you the Kathleen Lights palette. This is what the outside packaging looks like. Really beautiful. That's the box there. And then this is the actual palette. If you hear rustling, Chester's inside of a bag, having a lot of fun. So, and he's spoiled, so I'm not removing him from the bag right now. <laughs> I might in a minute. So, there is this. I like how it's really thin and very compact. So pretty. He's going nuts right now. <laughs> okay, hold please. Okay, he was removed from the bag and the bag is now in the closet. So the palette itself has three different shades in it and these are big pans. They are seven grams each for a total of 21 grams. So you get a lot of product in here. I love the design and the powders. They're really, really beautiful. So as far as like um, if they work for my skin tone, these two definitely work as highlighters for me. This one's going to be more of like a blush topper or an eyeshadow or something like that. 
Um, but I like that she included that something that will work better for medium to deep skin tones because I, I feel like a lot of times highlighter palettes are more geared towards light to medium skin tones. So I like that that's included in there. I think it's there's something in here for everyone. So and at first I was thinking that these were going to be like highlighters that you would have to build up because just in swatches I was thinking it was a formula that needed to be built up a little bit but once I got it on my face like first pass it was like oh no this is like intense highlighter right off so I still think it looks really pigmented in a swatch but it definitely looks pigmented on your face so just know that it's definitely a very pigmented palette but it blends really nicely. I love the color selection. I think it's really beautiful and I love the packaging. Here I'd sent me something I've never tried from them before. This is the Rapid Resurfacing Peel and it's 10% glycolic acid. It says 87% saw smoother and refreshed skin overnight. 86% noticed brighter skin after one week. So yeah, it says um, like an environmental shield is what it's supposed to be like. Let me just look. So it's got different little like pads in here. I've had this for a bit and I keep forgetting to try this. So I will try this out and definitely give you some feedback because I really like Murad products. Like pretty much, I think I can't think of anything I haven't liked that I've tried from them. So I'm excited to try these. Delium Tools has some new lipsticks. These are their matte lipsticks. So I have two different shades here. Look how cute this box is, like really cute detailing. The outside box is super cute. And then the lipstick itself is really pretty. Like it's a sturdy packaging, it's magnetic closure. It's got like yellow lining the inside. So I mean, 10 out of 10 on the packaging. It's so nice, feels very, very fancy. Nice quality, has their initials on the end. Just, I'm impressed with the packaging a lot. So this first color is Kylie. This is a really pretty nude color. And then the other shade that I got is Last Call. So here they are swatched. These are really pretty and really nice. So I've worn this one several times and I really like it. Now it is a matte lipstick and it feels like a matte lipstick, but it doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick. It's not to that point. I really like it because it feels like it's on my lips, it's not gonna get all over my teeth, it's not gonna move everywhere, it's gonna be there for a long time, but still not uncomfortable. So I really like the formula of these. I think it's really, really nice. And again, that packaging is so fancy feeling, just fancy, really nice, and both really pretty colors. And then Milani sent me a package, which I was really excited about because I haven't gotten anything from them in a long time, but I really like their products. So first off is the Stay Put Matte Matte Liners. So I have black and then coffee and safari. Safari is the green one. So I've tried the black one several times and I do really like the formula of this. Um, it's very matte, it's not shiny looking at all and it really stayed put. Like it didn't run on me or anything like that. I wasn't really crying that day or anything. So I didn't like put it to the ultimate test but I didn't notice it fading or anything like that. I like the packaging on it. Now this is a liner, um, I don't find these as difficult to use as like the full on um, brush liners. I think those are the most difficult to use. And this is all just personal preference and my skill level, but <laughs> I typically use something like the Physicians, uh, Physicians Formula Eye Booster Liner where it's almost like a marker, but like kind of like a bendy marker. I think those are the easiest liners to use. And then the hardest are the brush liners. So this is kind of like in between. So I have a little bit more of a learning curve with this, but I can get this on and get a wing and really like the way it looks, but it just takes me a little bit more time. So those are cool. I like that they're matte. And these are their Amore Matte Metallic Lip Cream. So I do have a whole swatch video on these. If you wanna see all of these swatched on my hand, and on my lips, you can check out that video. I go through all the colors in that video. Then some things from Pure Cosmetics. I thought I was just gonna be getting the Love Your Selfie 2, which I was super excited about because I love the first one of this palette, but they were so sweet and sent me a bunch of other things too. So first is the Pure Miracle Mist, and it says this is a hydrate and set sort of a spray. It says instantly hydrate dry, tired, and stressed skin and help set makeup for long-lasting perfection. Um, mist onto face and body after showering and throughout the day as needed. 
Apply after makeup application for extended wear. Ooh, I like that it's just gonna be used on your face and your body. Let me smell this. Okay, I just sprayed it in the cap. It has kind of like a herbally lemon sort of a scent. Not my favorite scent, but if it is nice and hydrating, then that'll be good. I'll more likely use this on my body um, than on my face because my face already has quite a bit of hydration, so I don't need a lot of extra. Um, but on my body, my legs are ridiculously dehydrated. So I will try this on my legs and let you know. This is their Pure Hydrogel Lift 360 Eye Perfecting Primer. It says smooth around eye area can be used alone or under makeup, so that's cool. This is the Cameo Contour Dual Ended Contour Foundation. This is in tan, so this is a little bit dark for my skin tone, but I might be able to use this very light-handed. <laughs> it's blending really nicely though, so that's good. So that would be nice. So I'll try that out. Looks a little bit too warm tone for me, a little bit too dark, but I'll give it a go. Some lip products. So first off is their lip gloss in the color Bossy. So there is Bossy. Let me show you it in the packaging because the packaging is really cute. It has like a little like printed lip on the end. That's really cute. And it's a really pretty kind of like brownie sort of a shade. I'm gonna like that for the fall especially. That's really pretty. And I had like a nice vanilla sort of a scent. And then I have three different colors of these lip gloss sticks. These are high shine lip colors. So they're a little bit kind of like lip crayons. So they look really cute. I have three different shades here to show you. So this pinky shade is very pretty. The middle one is Game Day, so that's kind of like a reddish sort of a color. And then Rum Raisin. Rum Raisin was way lighter than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be like a really deep color, but it's definitely a lot lighter. So I would use these either for like quick, easy makeup days, or I would carry them in my purse for kind of like touch-ups if I'm wearing like a liquid lipstick and things are starting to get a little bit weird. I like to carry something like this so I can kind of like even everything out. And then the Love Your Selfie 2 palette. I am super excited about this. That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna do a whole video on this. I'm gonna do like a review, a tutorial, both, something like that, either one video or two separate videos. I'm gonna do a video on this because I loved the first one and I am super excited about this one. I already have swatches up on my Instagram, so if you wanna see swatches of this, you can check there. But let me just quickly show you hopefully without dropping everything. So there's what it looks like. These are so great because they're like pretty much everything you need. I mean, maybe, if, well obviously foundation and powder and concealer, but if you want liner, maybe, is the only thing missing, like an eyeliner, but you have a mascara, lip products, face products, eyeshadows, it's all right there. So nice, and brushes, you would need brushes. So it's just great for travel and I love their shadows. Like, I'm super impressed with just how well they blend. They're beautiful. They wear well. I think they're great. So I'm super excited about this. Like I said, I'm gonna do a whole video on it. And lastly, I got some things from Octoly. So I got the Cargo Cosmetics Land Down Under palette. Really cute outside packaging. I love the kind of like color theme to it. It's got a very kind of like clean look to the actual palette. You open it up and it's kind of like a Looks like a sort of like beachy themed um, kind of a palette. And I'm kind of on the fence about this. Like, it swatches okay. Um, I would say the mattes are probably the best. Well, no. I'd say it's just a little bit hit or miss. I was going to say the mattes, but actually, I mean, some of them are like, that one's really nice, that one's really nice. Uh, I do have this one on the inner corner of my eyes. I foiled it though. To really get this intensity, it's foiled. So, um, I'd say it's just kind of okay. I'm not super wowed by it. Um, some of them really struggle, like these. Those are really not that great. But some in here are pretty good. So I would say if you can get it maybe on a sale, or you can go swatch it and see what you think about it, then maybe give it a go. But you could definitely make some good eye looks, you know, with some of the better shadows. But just know, 
in my opinion, not all the shadows in there are really, really nice. Then a little lip duo from Cora's. The lipstick is the Morello Creamy Lipstick, and the color is 54 Classic Red. And the lip liner is the Cottonseed Oil Long Lasting Lip Liner, and it is in 03 Red. So I totally forgot to wear the lip liner yesterday. I should have. I'd been wearing a liquid lipstick and my lips were just really dry, so I wanted something hydrating and comfortable, so I thought I would give this a try, and it was very comfortable. It really made my lips feel better. It was just so comfortable compared to that liquid lipstick, so I really like the formula on it, but it is a creamy, hydrating formula, so it did move a little bit, so I would definitely wear it with a lip liner next time, um, but just super comfortable. It's just a super comfortable, creamy lipstick. That just sometimes scares me with reds or dark shades or something like that. So I would definitely recommend it with a lip liner, but I did really like the formula. Super pigmented, really creamy and opaque, smells yummy. Yeah, it smells like vanilla or creme brulee or something. So I do really like this and I'll keep you posted on the liner. And then lastly, I was super excited about this. I've been wanting some way that I could style my hair without heat. And I know that you guys are always asking me for hair tutorials, but hair is just not my thing. Like, I really am not very inventive with how I do my hair. I literally just section it and wrap it around a curling wand. And that's pretty much all I do. So second day here, I use dry shampoo and just recurl the sections that need it. So hair is just not my thing. So everything I know how to do with my hair, I learned on YouTube anyway. So I would say there's probably a lot more skilled people to teach you how to do your hair than me. But I was really excited to try this. These are the Curling Flutes Spiral Curls Defined and Natural. So it says comparable to the barrel of a one inch curling wand. So they are these little like tubey things that you wrap your hair around and then you can sleep on them. So I tried this last night, I washed my hair and then I put my hair, I put these in my hair, which was, that was an experience. So there's definitely a learning curve to these. Timothy had to help me like kind of divide up my hair, but I mean, the way it's curled today is pretty much the way it came out. I did curl and kind of use some dry shampoo on the top of my hair because it was a little bit flat. So I did recurl a couple sections on the top, but most like the bottom is this. So I'm actually pretty impressed with it. I mean, there are certain things like, let me tell you quickly. Okay, so you slide this over your hair, so you get your wet piece of hair, slide this onto your hair, and then you wrap that around this thing. So this, with your hair in it, wraps around like this, and then you, you know, leave it in there for a while. So I, hello, I slept in it. Um, which that was uncomfortable. I mean, these are squishy, but with them all over your head, that's the thing I don't know if I'd be able to get used to. So I don't know because I really want to be able to not use heat on my hair. So maybe I could get used to that because um, I do like the way that it came out. I think it looked pr pretty nice. Um, and I really didn't have to use as much heat, just those couple little spots. So I really think it's nice quality. You get, I think, um, 21 rollers and then you get the little nylon sleeves. So, and there are different videos that you can watch people like using these. So I'm impressed with them. I think that they worked well. I just have a little bit of a learning curve to figure them out and I need to figure out if I can adjust to sleeping in them. All right guys, so that wraps up this massive haul and PR show and tell. If you stay till the end, Good job. Thanks for sticking it out with me. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below if you have any thoughts on any of these products. I would love to know your opinions. If you have any questions for me, just ask those. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!